Hey, what's up, Knicks fans? What's up, Knicks fans? It's your man, Mizzle. No stats today. He's on assignment. Yeah, I know I love to say that. Uh, well, we're going to talk about the Knicks and the Sixers. It was a tough loss. Uh, it was a tough loss, but guess what? Because of the way that they played. Uh, I know that there are no moral victories, but it was looking bad. And for the last three games, the Knicks have been looking all right. So, you know, it was a tough loss. I wish we would have won that, but let's get right into it Knicks look good early start the game in the zone defense which they've been doing for the past couple of games now the zone looks good Frank looks good with his jumper uh, I think he hit two shots one three one jump shot in the beginning of the game it looked good Ben Simmons of all people oh lord why us why does it have to be the Knicks Ben Simmons hits his first three-pointer of his career against the Knicks Unbelievable, unbelievable. Let's keep going. And B gets two fouls apiece on Mitch and Taj Gibson. Both, um, well, specifically Taj Gibson was playing well in the beginning of the quarter. And those two fouls messed with him. Mitch tried to get some kind of groove, but uh, just couldn't get any, any grooves today because of foul trouble. And obviously he had to guard and beat. And beat is tough to guard. Anyway, the bench comes in. D DSJ looks nice, right? I know, right? I don't usually say that. But for the past couple of games, DSJ has been looking good. It looks like he's got, he's getting back into his groove, which is good. Perimeter defense is still an issue. And that will haunt us throughout the rest of the game. Let's keep going. Julian hits two threes in that quarter. We look good, Knicks. Knicks are down two at the quarter, but we look good. We look good, right? Dennis Smith Jr. looks really, really good in the second quarter. Let's go right then. And he hits a layup, a three. I believe he scores. Um, he was doing his thing. He scores 10 in that quarter, which looked good. Knox puts up, put the Knicks up one with a three. I believe his only shot or one of his few shots. Knox, we got to get him going again. He started to look good in the beginning, and I think his minutes got cut. I believe his minutes got cut due to defense, but we'll see. Uh, bench looks great behind Bobby Portis, Knox, Dotson. Puts the Knicks up three. Nice. Bench looks tremendous. Defense looks tremendous. The defense looks is some of the best defense. And this was actually a good team. Some of the best defense I've seen the Knicks play all early season, right? We go up six, but Philly was able to cut it to two. A small scuffle breaks out between Joel Embiid and who? <laughs> Philly's own the dog, Marcus Morris. They did not like each other for that little bit of time. There was a delay that was over five minutes. The Sixers take a two-point lead going into the third. The third. I put the fourth. The Sixers take a two-point lead going into the third. Uh, Taj Gibson scores seven of the Knicks' first eight points in the third quarter. He was looking good. He had a spin move. He had a he had a three. Ah, oh, he was looking great. Frank hits a three that puts the that puts the Knicks up nine. That third quarter was all us. Knicks uh, go another Knicks three puts the Knicks up eleven. The Knicks offense explodes. That was an explosion that we go up seven. Points. We was up 17 points on the road against a championship contender. Whew, that was looking good. I was super hype at that point. Six is going a 7 to 0 run behind some three point shooting. Uh, perimeter D lacking once again. Um, and they cut the lead down to 8. The Knicks are up by 5 at the end of that quarter. You see, 17 points. 17 points and then five points that quick that quick that quick 17 points evaporated dsj hits the three to put the knicks up six because i believe they scored the first two in the fourth um the knicks get sloppy man and the sixers uh are able to tie it up and then we go back and forth a little bit back and forth tie game we are they are back and forth then a couple of Morris to Mitch Alley Oops. Two of them keeps us down by two. Down by one when 
uh, uh, Randall hits a free throw and he misses another one. So now we're down by one. We steal the ball. Marcus, to me, this is a turning point again. Marcus Morris is able to get the ball. We stole it. We're, all, we're only down by one. He forces it up. I know he's feeling good. He's from Philly. He forces something. It was You had numbers. I feel like he had numbers forcing something up. They find a way to rally behind that miss. I believe Julius Randle gets an offensive foul, which is total B, you know what. And Marcus um, hits two threes late, but by, the, by that time, the game is over. We were finito. Um, it, was, it looked a lot closer than it was, but they just did certain things to close the game that we weren't able to do to close the game, man. That was it. That was pretty much it, man. So, uh, the Knicks lose a tough one. I mean, it was tough, like I said, but it was against. We'll get into those in the keys and uh, the keys uh, and observations. But it was against a, a pretty formidable, to say the least, opponent. Right. So, Knicks fans, don't lose it too much. A lot of positives. Y'all know what time it is. I know we lost, man. It hurt. I know. I know. I know. But. We still were able to have a hoop, hoop, hooper of the night. And it's none other than the dog. I know, man. I almost didn't give you that hoop of the night because you, it was that one. Like, come on, Marcus Morris. You had numbers. But listen, man. He hit two threes at the end. Those numbers, those last six points, uh, I don't know. They're questionable. But guess what? You know why they're not that questionable? Because he was still trying. He was going down shooting. Okay? And that's what I like. That's what New York is about. If you guys aren't New Yorkers, uh, you know, salute to wherever you're from. But, we listen, it's a hustle and bustle place over here. That's why it's hard for us to watch a team that's not going to give us maximum effort. And guess what? The dog, he gave us maximum effort. He, you know, made, mis made mistakes. We're human, right? But he gave us some maximum effort. Let's talk about the dog. Let's get right into it, right? First of all, he played 40 minutes. It's 48 minutes in the game. He played 40 minutes, right? So he was super important, right? Eight for 21 in. Under 50%, we don't like that too much. Eh. But he had a rough, the, you know how Marcus Morris do. He starts off rough, but then in the, in the, in the, uh, throughout the course of the game, he starts getting that percentage better. It's not the worst percentage in the world, but we want to do better. Uh, four for seven from three. That is that's well over 50%. Sizzling from downtown. Remember I told you those last two that he hit, he, he, he probably would have been what? Uh, to uh, whatever. If those last two that he hit uh, was was uh, kind of like garbage time, you could say. But it was still something that you know it, we had an inkling of a chance, and he was he was he was trying his best. So remember, uh, so two of those came late, very very late. Thirteen boards, six assists, twenty two points. Ah, uh, remember he would have had sixteen. If it wasn't for those last two. He was a plus five. Three steals? No, no, no. Two steals. Who got three steals? Julius Randle. We're gonna we're gonna honorable mention him just now. Julius Randle had three steals. Dope, Julius. Um, two steals for Marcus Morris. Great job, Marcus Morris. That one little mistake, man. That one little mistake. We're gonna have some honorable mentions. I got an honorable mention Taj Gibson. Even though he scored crazy. 11 points plus seven, four rebounds, big minutes for this guy, big minutes. He only, you remember those two fouls he picked up? Those are only two fouls he picked up, which means he should have had more minutes than 14 minutes. That's on you, Fizz. He should have more minutes. The guy was playing well. The guy was playing well. He should have way more than 14 minutes. I don't know if it's a matchup situation, but he should have way more than 14 minutes. Fizz, that's on you. Um, he's plus seven. That's beautiful. Uh, Julius Randle. He only had two turn. I'm gonna I'm highlight his turnovers at first. Uh, this is honorable mention, by the way. Julius Randle, two turnovers. So he's had four turnovers total in the last three games. Four turnovers total in the last three games. That lets me know you get it. You get it. You get it, Julius. Um, 17 points. 
beautiful. Eight rebounds. He was hitting his threes. Uh, he, missed, he missed a couple of clutch free throws. He went five for eight from free throws. Julius, come on, man. He went two for four from downtown. Beautiful. Those two he hit in the first quarter. I guess those were only two he hit. Played 36 minutes, 5 for 13, and he went there. Yeah, 50%, man. Went 50%. And like I said, he had three steals, right? Um, Frank Nilakina. I know I'm honorable mentioning a lot of guys, but his offense was on point. He was a plus two. He scored 17 big points. 17 big points. Two for four from downtown. Six for eight. Solid caliente shooting. Uh, I wish we won this one. Uh, our guys played well. Our guys played well enough to win this one, but we, we ain't winning, man. We ain't winning. Let's get to the waste, man. DSJ, you are nowhere near this. Dennis Smith Jr., congratulations. But not having wasteful behavior. You were doing your thing. I, I I see you doing your thing, Dennis Smith Jr. So, yeah, but let's get to the real waste, man. All right? I don't know who to pick. You know who I'm going to pick? I'm going to pick... Mm, I'm going to pick... Mm, RJ, 4 for 12. That's rough. But you gave us 7 rebounds, 3 assists. What's going on? You only gave us 8 points, RJ. Minus 5. Mmm... But you know who I'ma pick? Bobby! No, 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 no. Mm, this is Bobby Portis. Mm, Bobby Portis almost had it. You almost had it, Bobby Portis. But your honorable mention, seven points. Yuck. Minus 14. Yucky. Uh, you played 24 minutes. You shot six shots. At least you didn't OD. Shot 50%, so you don't get it. You know who gets it? And it's rough for me to give it to him. And I know stats. Next, next episode, you'll probably be yelling at me for, for picking this guy because this guy's his guy, Damian Dotson. D-Dot, my guy D-Dot. D-Dot, it was a rough one for you, man. You actually played the 20 minutes that is the requirement for even qualifying for this waste man. You played the 20 minutes. You went one for six, oh for two from downtown. Come on, D-Dot, three rebounds. All right, I'll take that. One block, I love that. I love that, and I remember it too. I remember that block you got. You played some good defense. You played some good defense on uh, D-Dot. Uh, no steals? Right after I said you played, I looked at it. You got no steals? Come on, no D-Dot, minus 12. That means when you was on the court, down 12. When was up 17, clear. What's going on, man? Um, and then two points. Two points in 20 minutes. D-Dot. Those, those look, not defensively, but those offensive numbers mirror almost one call. Wayne Ellington, who's been smelling tin, they're stinking it up. You know what I mean? The guy barely gets any playing time now. Thank God you, you, you're wisened up. But yeah, you have wasteful behavior tonight. I'm not going to pile on D-Dot. D-Dot's been playing well. I'm not going to pile on him. Yeah, had a rough one. It's all right. What are we good? All right, guys. Y'all know what time it is. We lost. It was a tough loss. I know. I know. That's going to finish soon. Uh, but let's get into some keys and observations. Things that made us go. Hmm. All right. So let's get into some keys and observations. Let's do the negatives first. Perimeter defense, guys. Once again, once again. Perimeter defense came back to haunt us. Had we had some good perimeter defense, we would have won that game. We would have won that game because the Sixers, we had them on the ropes. We had them on the ropes. You know what I mean? We had them on the ropes. And just, this is a Philadelphia reference, just like in Rocky fashion, they came back. They knuckled us up. They gave us them lumps right at the end because they are better than us all right they are better than us they are a championship contender what can i say um we still can't close yet apparently we we got the lead uh sort of like we did with charlotte charlotte hurt me more because that's not a good team and we let the lead go through three-point shooting once again it's the same point really uh we lost the lead and you know uh we can't close yet we're not a closing team yet so 
that continues to stay a huge issue. Hopefully, we can close. We don't have a closer. Marcus Morris is something like a closer. Something like a closer. But he's not a full blown closer. We know that. The dog, I love you. Love you to death. But he's not a star. He's not an all star. And he's not a closer. Okay? Could be an all star if we win some games because he's our leading scorer and he's been playing very well. But he's not a closer. I think we need that. You know what I mean? Maybe we could uh, address that in, uh, in some trades. Who knows? But we're not a closer team. How about some positives now? Last three games, we haven't been coming from behind. Like, uh, like, like, for the. For the early part of the season, every team we play, we oh we get down and we we fight back. No, for the majority of the early season, we've had to fight back in games. But this game and the past couple of games, we haven't. The last game we were able to close it out because it was a bad team. But this game we weren't able to close out the lead because it was because it's a good team. But we haven't been able to close any games out. This is still something that. Alarming to me. Um, oh no, we was in positives. Nah, I'll cut all this shit out. Um, yeah, so the positives are uh, we haven't been able to fight back. We've been we've been we've been having the lead lately. So that's good. That's that's a good thing. Honestly, guys, trust me, that's a good thing. When you can play with the lead, all you gotta do now is figure out how to close it. Okay. Um, Defense looks much improved, much, much improved. Still need a scheme for perimeter D. How we're gonna close out. I see guys are a little tentative in closing out because of the fouls that we've been getting. The um, flagrant fouls, not letting the person land, shooting space, point of emphasis, all types of stuff that these guys come up with to make them expose. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm sounding like uh, a, a victim, but anyway, I'm not. We're not a victim. Knicks aren't a victim. We gotta keep moving. And the Knicks look great against a championship contender. One or two bad plays away from actually getting a big road victory. One or two plays away, guys. That's it. In all honesty, we were just one or two plays away, and we could have got this, guys. I promise you that Marcus Morris, Marcus Morris, he made for it. I mean, he tried at the end. He didn't make up for it because we didn't win, but, oh, uh, if he had just, that's when the momentum, mm, I don't want to dwell on it, but that's when the momentum was done for us. You know what, guys? Woo. That game was exhausting. My energy was up. I was high one time. I was low. Then high. I was like, oh, we might win. Then I'm like, oh, we're not gonna win. Oh, we win. But what are we gonna do? We gotta finish this. Forget it. Put it away. We're done with it. We're not gonna play the Sixers again. At least uh, not until next week, right? I think we play them next week. But that game, that particular game, game is over. We gotta move. To the next game. What's the next game? New York Knicks play those San Antonio Spurs. Oh yeah, we looking for payback. Remember what they did to us in the beginning of the year, opening game. We looking for payback. Yeah, that's right, San Antonio Spurs. They come in 11:23. That is November 23rd, this Saturday at, what time, 7.30 p.m. Are you guys going to be watching? That's what I want. Are you guys going to be watching? Did you guys give up yet? Did you guys, oh, the next up, I ain't watching no more. Nah, right? Tell me in the comments if you gave up. Tell me in the comments if you gave up. You shouldn't give up because the Knicks are improving, believe it or not. I know, I'm an optimist, but they are improving. What can I say? All right, so we'll be home this Saturday against the Spurs. No Friday night game, no Friday night Knicks. That's all right. Friday night, I'll just hang out. Um, 
Let me know if you guys are gonna be watching. Stash should be back. We're gonna do some nice stuff for you guys. We, we got some more content coming. Don't forget to follow us right there. It's on we're on the gram at NY Nick's work. Okay, we got content for days. Great content that you can just watch on your phone, scroll, be like, <gasps> yo! Or really, I did not know that was going on. Alright? Got it all for you, baby. It's your boy Mizzle. This is NY Nick's work. Stats is on assignment. <laughs>